Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay. I went with green. And the other colors you'll see on another video. But I definitely, I really like this bright, cheerful, happy green. Okay. But I do have new merch. And um, if you guys follow me on, actually, I think I posted it on this community page also. But um, I have new merch. And Robin from Because She Shed, that's her channel, but um, it's Real Creative Studios. Uh, she created the most amazing logo. Um, it's actually my logo, but she put it onto an owl and it's kind of hidden. And uh, one day I opened up my messenger on Facebook and there's this owl. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm going to show you guys right now. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, that is genius. And actually when she sent it to me first, it was just like black and white, like an outline. And then she colored it in and I'm just like, I just can't even believe how good this is. Um, okay, just a second. Let me pull up my screen share here. Why can't I think of how to do this right now? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go over to my Bolo Buddies merch. Okay, so here it is, you guys. Do you see the owl? Okay, so let me zoom in on this cup here. Actually, let me go over here to the t-shirt. And I'm going to zoom really, really close. Do you guys see the owl's eyes? Do you see it? Ah! Isn't that so cool? So she took my logo and made it the eyes. So look at the mug or the tumbler or the drink cup, whatever it is. It's the eyes. So if you flip it upside down, it's like my high five. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? How creative is that? Like, I am so not creative. I just thought that was like genius. So anyway. This is my new merch. So um, you've got the like little onesie or bodysuit and all of the different merch. So if you like Olo the Owl, it says Olo with Bolo. So if you, um... oh, that one's wrong. I have to have her fix that. I'm like, that says Olo with Bolo. It should say Bolo with Olo. So we have a typo on the tank. We have a typo on the tank. Olo with Bolo. It should not say that. It should say Bolo with Olo. <laughs> okay, we got to fix that one. It should say Bolo with Olo. wonder if any more are wrong. Okay, so um, Bolo with Olo. I'm like, why does that say that? Okay, it looks like the rest are right. Bolo with Olo. So if you guys are going thrifting, it's going to say Bolo with Olo. So somebody asked me on Instagram, they're like, what does that mean? I'm like, well, it means they're like, what's Olo? I'm like, Olo is the owl's name. And here, so here's all the merch guys. And then we've got the original, um, just, uh, Bolo buddies. So these are Bolo Buddies, and then it says thanks for watching on the back. And then the Bolo with Olo says sourcing with Bolo Buddies on the back. So I've got to get that tank switched. Olo with Bolo. That's so funny. Okay, we got to fix that one. Nobody order that one. All right, so um, let me go back to StreamYard. Let's get on full screen here. So here's the original Owl for the channel, and I got him a little shirt. This is Olo, you guys. See? Olo. Now, you're probably wondering, I've made you guys wait forever. I kind of forgot. Do you remember um, the snowy owl? The one that um, Yard Sales and Dreams sent me? If you guys aren't following Yard Sales and Dreams, you guys need to go follow her. She just got a massive... Um, Masters of the Universe Hall. Oh my gosh. Talk about a major score. You've got to go see it. Amazing. But anyway, she sent me 
this owl and you guys picked out some names and there's been one, I like it in my right hand better, feels better. There's been one name that's kind of stuck with me, but I was just waiting to see if one, another one came in, but the name is going to be Snow Low. I can't help it. I just love it. It's just Snow Low. So we've got Olo and Snow Low. Okay, Bola Buddies has lost her mind. <laughs> They're so cute. Sorry. Okay. You guys want to know what sold? <laughs> Do you guys want to learn? Thanks for watching. <laughs> that kind of brings me into um, Chosen Goods reseller is Carissa. And um, Carissa is actually in the hospital right now. And she released a video today kind of... Uh, was it today or was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Uh, talking about a little bit of it, but she did an unboxing. But I am going to be sending her this box. Um, and I'm going to call it Buddy Mail. And she has no idea I'm doing this. So, Carissa, this is on its way. And you're going to do an unboxing. And what you're going to say, you're going to go through each item. And you're going to say either that you're keeping it, you're selling it. Well, that's it. You, there's a few items. Like there's one thing you have to keep. You just have to. I'm forcing you to keep it. And then there's another item that is kind of like something that I wrote on the package that you have to keep it because it's kind of like for you to use for your business. Um, so you're, you have to keep that. But the other, the other items, it's up to you. You can either keep it or sell it. So when you do the unboxing, you're going to like look at it and you're going to tell your viewers, you're going to say, I'm going to keep it. Or you're going to say, I'm going to sell it. Okay. So everybody, I want you to go over and subscribe to Chosen Goods Reseller right now or after the video or whatever so that you're ready to see her unbox what I'm sending her. Okay. So let me show you her channel real quick. And it's right here. It's chosen goods reseller. And you can see here it's hospitals and happy boxes. And, um, she actually did the Ben six, uh, scavenger hunt with me. And, um, we did that with Dad Planet also. So you guys may have watched that one um, because we did that collab together. And then she's also been on my channel unboxing something with me. Um, it was on this channel. We unboxed something that my husband got in an estate sale. So you may already be following her. But if not, go follow her because she's going to unbox this. And I am sure hoping that she is out of the hospital by the time she gets this. But if not... Um, she can unbox it at the hospital. So um, yeah, go sub to her. I'll link it down below in the description. Okay, so let's get to it and um, show you what I sold. I sold a brawl and it's in a bag. Okay, so this is, um, I got this at a garage sale if I remember correctly. And I think it was like 50 cents. This isn't the normal brawls that I sell. This is like a, I think it's like a vintage brawl. It's Bobby Brooks. Never heard of this brand, but it was a 44D. It was a plus size bra. So I went ahead and picked it up and I sold this for $10 and the buyer was all in for $15 and 54 cents. So I will tell you guys, um, I always pick up plus size bras. It really doesn't matter if it's plus size. I pretty much buy it as long as it is a good price. Now I sold another plus size bra. Now, this is the Cacique brand. I did pick this up at a discount store. Um, actually, yeah, this one came from a discount store. I think it was $5. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was $5. They went up in price recently, so um, it was either 5 or 6 But I think I got this when they were still 5 So this one sold for $20.99. The buyer was all in for $29.20. The next item that sold is a pair of box jean shorts. Um, 
These are a size three. So when they are an odd number like that, that means that they are a junior size. So I feel like junior sizes are a little harder to sell. That is my personal opinion. I could be wrong. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, these are a PacSun brand. So these came from that going out of business PacSun sale. I purchased probably over a hundred pair of these Fox brand. Now I had size one, zero, wait, it was like zero, one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11. I think I had a few 13s. The 13s went quick. The 11s went quick. The nines went quick. Even the sevens did pretty good. It's these threes, these ones, the smaller sizes are harder but um i have a bunch of ones left so if anybody wears a fox size one and you're interested i've got a bunch of ones left i think i have the ones maybe it's the zeros anyway the really small sizes i sold these for ten dollars and the buyer was all in for 15.60 and my cost of goods was three dollars i sold another cacique bra this one came from the website it's super super cute this is a smaller size. Now for Cacique, the smaller sizes are hard to sell. Also, um, this one is a 36 C darling, super cute. Um, it is still, um, sold. I guess it's considered plus size. It's not really plus size 36 C, but it's still sold as a plus size. Does that make sense? Um, like they're not going to sell a 34 B, a Cacique brand is not going to sell a 34 B because there's just, it's not, they're not going to, but a 36 C would still fall as a plus size, I guess. I don't know. That's not making sense. It's still a big enough size to fall under Cacique brand. They'll still carry it but it's a harder to sell size. Okay. Anyway, that made no sense. Uh, it sold for $22 and 49 cents and the buyer was all in for $30 and 46 cents. I would say this is the cutoff size. They don't go any smaller than this. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Um, again, retail arbitrage off the website. Oh boy. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? a laughable moment. It is a laughable moment. Okay. You remember the David's Bridal website when I was retail arbitraging off the David's Bridal website? <sighs> one of the dresses. Um, so this is a bridesmaid dress. This one is actually a smaller size. So the plus size is they did okay. Um, better than the not plus size. This is a very small size too. Um, it's a truffle brown, full length, one shoulder dress. It's actually very pretty, but very hard to sell. Um, it didn't sell for much, guys. I paid $10 and some change for it, $10.71 to be exact. I took a best offer of $19, so happy to see it go. I made my money back and a small amount after fees. Um, I'm just, I'm glad to make my money back. So I made a little bit of money, but it's gone. It's gone. And I would like for the others to be gone as well. But um, they're moving slowly. Uh, would I do it again? No. So uh, happy for it to go. Now here's one. This came out of a mystery box. And the funny thing is, is these came out of a game. It was a princess game. It was like a cupcake princess game. And I'm like, oh, those are cute. They're like little cupcakes and you build them. Okay. Um, so they're buildable cupcakes. 
And I was like, by the time I ship that box, nobody's going to buy it because it's going to be too heavy. But I could see somebody using these little cupcakes. Maybe I just put it in a bag that says a dollar. It was from a garage sale or something. So that's not what I paid for it. Um, maybe somebody could use those cupcakes for something, or maybe somebody would need the cupcakes as replacements for something. But I was thinking somebody might be able to use these cupcakes for something. And then I was like, do I even want to mess with it? And I went back and forth in my head and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it just because I want to see if I can sell them. I know it's going to be bread and butter, but I just want to try it. I just had a feeling about it. You guys, this sold within like a couple weeks. Um, so it came out of a mystery box. So my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. And I sold them for $6.50. Nothing big, but pretty much all profit. Um, and the buyer was all in for $13.01. So pretty cool, right? They're really cute. I mean, you literally just take the little pieces and you build them, which that is not the way you build it, but you get the point. <laughs> so, yeah. So just sold them as replacements. It's a little fly. Okay. Um, the next item I sold are these not your daughter's jeans. I have had these for a long time. Um, they came from uh, Gabriel Brothers and I probably, I think I paid about $5 for these. They sold for, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. They sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $24 and one cent. And they have kind of like a color block to them. So you guys, these retail for $140 and I sold them for 15. Okay. So what this tag says does not always matter. Okay. So 140, they got it for like 10% almost. Okay, so um, this next item is a brawn shaver. I got this at a garage sale. Um, it was like a box of brawn shavers. Um, <sighs> would I do it again? Okay, so questionable. <laughs> It was kind of gross. Okay. Oh. There was one thing of like liquid and it was brand new and it was kind of a square. I don't really know what it was, but I sold that really quick and it was clean. I liked that. Um, this has a razor and that's what it looks like. And I opened it up and I had to like brush off the hair and it was kind of gross. And you guys are probably looking at me like, get real girl, just brush off the hair. It's no big deal. I, I don't really like doing that. I got to admit, it's just kind of gross. I don't like hair and I don't like, it's just kind of gross to me. So um, not really my thing. I, sorry guys, if that makes me a wimp, but um, yuck. <laughs> so anyway, but I have sold all of them. Uh, it was a box of like, I want to say probably five or six, but I did brush them out just because I didn't want to sell them with a bunch of hair in them. But ugh. so I have sold all of them. I think this is my last one. So I did make money. I did pretty good. I think I spent like 20 bucks on the whole box. So I think my cost of goods for when I divided it all out was about three bucks for this. And I sold it for 1850 and the buyer was all in for $31.38. I don't know why it's so much for maybe, I don't know. Seems like a lot to ship it. But anyway, maybe taxes are high in their area. I'm not sure. But I know the profits on the other ones were higher. So um, yeah, I did pretty good on that. So maybe I would brush the hair out again. I did wear gloves, but it was so yucky. Okay. Um, this is my favorite item. These came out of a mystery box 
And I will tell you, I was pleasantly surprised by these and I priced these high because I had never seen them before. And um, this one's broke. Uh-oh. I hope you could see it in the picture. I mean, it was broke in the picture, but um, I just didn't notice it in the picture. I'm sure you could see it in the picture because I took side views. But anyway, um, let me show you. Oh, I forget how it works now. Oh, there we go. Look. Oh, I hope that won't mess with the... Does that mess with people's eyes sometimes? Anyway, the lights flash. Oh, and they make sound. Hear them? But they're not anything that I've ever, uh, I've never seen them before. So this one's like a, a fire truck. And for some reason, this one's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe it needs a battery. Come on. It might need a battery. I mean, they are vintage. They're called Smart Bean. Or maybe that one didn't work. I can't remember. I listed them a while ago. Anyway, I'll play around with it. See if I can get it to work. But anyway, the lights flash and they make sound. They're really cool. But that one. Okay, I have another cool item. A couple cool items. I do have some cool items. Not much sold, but some cool stuff sold. And I have a cool shirt. Okay. I sold this Express shirt. Cost of goods, $3. Retail arbitrage. I've sold so many of these. And I have probably 70 of these that need listed. Maybe 50. I don't know. Um, I sold that for $14.79. The buyer was all in for $20.01. Cost of goods, like, Three, three, fifteen, three oh nine, something like that. Okay, so this vest, this one. The problem with this one is, I got it at a garage sale. You know, it smelled like smoke when I got it, but I put it in a bag, and it's been sitting there, and it doesn't smell too bad anymore. Hmm. Good. So it kind of smelled like smoke when I got it, but it's like this cool fringe vest. And I just disclosed that it smelled like smoke and now it magically doesn't. So I sold it for I took a best offer of $20. Somebody got a deal. Um, all in for $30.26. So I just had it in a poly mailer ready to go. And it's really cute. It's like suede with fringe. Super cute. And I paid, um, I think, $5 for that one at a garage sale. So I'm going to say that somebody is going to be happy. And I didn't want to not get it because it smelled like smoke because... Somebody that smokes isn't going to care if it smells like smoke. They're still going to buy it, you know? So I just bought it. Okay, you guys, this one is super cool. And this is the best for last. This came out of my mystery box, my vin my vintage mystery toy box that I bought from um, T Auctions for You. Um, it's a hot mess, <laughs> but I knew it was a bolo when I saw it. Um, so I bought a mystery vintage toy box from T 
And I just said, send me a hundred dollar box, just whatever you want, but I want it to be vintage toys because you guys know that I love toys and I like vintage stuff and I like to learn. Um, so a great way to learn is to just have somebody send you a hodgepodge of toys and you learn, you know, cause you got to look everything up. And I will tell you that I learned and I got a bunch of Bolos. Um, it was a great box. So if you go over to my main Bolo Buddies channel, I have an unboxing and I pull up screen shares of every item that I listed in that box. And you can see how I listed everything and um, the items that sold because it took me a while to list everything. So some of the items sold while I was still listing things. I pop up that it sold and I show you that. Um, but yeah. And as things are selling, you're seeing them in my what solds. Like this one is now in my what sold video. This Hello Kitty, I mean, look at it. It's a hot mess. So from what I understand, it's supposed to color change maybe. I, I'm not 100% sure, but it's called Hello Color. So I could be wrong, but I... <laughs> I thought maybe I read that it color changes back when I listed it when it hits the water, but I don't know if it works anymore. But I mean, you can see the whisker is missing and they saw all of this in the pictures, you guys, the mouth. I don't think the mouth is supposed to look like that. I mean, this thing is old and a hot mess. It's plush. Do you want to know what this sold for? $39. Can you imagine what it goes for if it's in good condition? It's definitely a Bolo item. So definitely be on the lookout for it. It's called Hello Color by, is it S-A-N-R-I-O? Is that Sanrio? Um... The date is, it's like 1980 something. I can't see it, it's covered up. So um, I did have free shipping on it. So sold on Mercari. The fees were $5.33. So I get $33.67. The shipping will come out of that. I will ship this first class. So I'm still gonna make probably like 28 bucks on this profit. Pretty good, right? For a crazy little plush. <laughs> so pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pretty excited about that one. All right, you guys. What was your favorite item? And go follow Chosen Goods Reseller so you can see what I put in her box. And we're going to see what she's going to keep and what she's going to resell. I'm kind of excited to see what she's going to keep and what she's going to resell. I kind of have an idea of what she's going to keep and what she's going to resell. So um, it should be fun to watch. So hopefully she does a premiere so I can be in the chat. So uh, you guys uh, definitely uh, go sub to her. I'll try to link it down so again she doesn't know that coming so when she watches this video she's gonna be like what so all right you guys thanks for being here thanks for watching and be sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you at the next one thanks for watching